Spring Integration Transformers. Welcome back everybody. My name is Jim White with Intertech and this is part four of our eight part tutorial on spring integration. In review, as we are in the middle of examining a number of spring integration message endpoints, recall that in our last tutorial we explored filters. Filters are endpoints that sit between channels and select or reject messages based on either the contents or payload of that message or metadata associated to that message. Spring integration provides for a number of filters out of the box and in part of your last lab you explored some of those as well with almost all components in spring integration they also provide the means for providing your own custom filter which can be created with the assistance of a message selector. You also list, looked at a message selector and the development of your own custom filter as part of the last lab as well. In today's tutorial, we want to take a look at transformers. Transformers are yet again another message endpoint found in spring integration. In particular, transformers convert the contents or structure of a message into a modified message containing either different payload or modified payload or different structure. I'm reminded of the Calvin and Hobbes transmogrifier. Calvin built out of a cardboard box a mechanism to change one thing into another. That's essentially what a spring integration transformer does. It turns one message of some payload type into a new message of potentially different payload type. For example, it could convert an XML payload message into a JSON payload message. As we've come to expect with Spring Integration, Spring Integration comes with a number of built-in components for any type of message endpoint. In this case, the pattern doesn't vary for transformers. Spring Integration comes with a number of built-in transformers. XML payload to object payload, which we call unmarshallers in the Spring Integration world object to XML message transformation, which we call marshallers in the spring integration world, are provided out of the box with spring integration. But as you can see on the screen, a number of additional spring integration built-in transformers are provided to again convert from one message payload type to another message payload type. And as we've also come to expect with spring integration, if the built-in capabilities aren't enough for you, Spring Integration also provides the means to create your own custom components. In this case, you can create a custom transformer from a simple POJO. In the Enterprise Integration Pattern Diagrams, you'll see the transformer represented by the icon at the bottom of the slide. Now, in the Enterprise, Enterprise Integration Patterns book, you will find that they call transformers translators. So a slightly different name for the same component type. So here we see some examples of spring integration transformers. In this case, using some built-in spring integration transformers. At the top of the slide, we see the use of a built-in object to string transformer. In this particular case, presumably in the inbound channel, we have messages with object payloads. The spring integration transformer will take the message off of that inbound channel and then call toString on the object that's in the payload, creating a string which it then places in a new message and places that new message in the outbound channel. Spring integration transformers are allowed to use spring expression language, otherwise known as spell. We see the example at the bottom of the slide is using spell with again a built-in spring integration transformer to take messages containing strings and converting that string to uppercase letters and putting a new message with that uppercase string in the outbound channel. You're now ready to tackle lab number four of our tutorial series. In this lab, you'll get a chance to work with several spring integration transformers. In the first case, working with a simple string transformer, one that uses spell to provide the logic about how you want the string payload to be transformed. In the second part of the lab, 
you'll actually create your own custom transformer, a Pig Latin transformer, one that takes a string and converts that string to Pig Latin. Finally, you'll get a chance to play with the built-in XML to object unmarshalling transformer, one that takes an XML message and converts that into Java object form message. As part of this lab, you're also going to get a chance to see service activator message endpoints. Yet another one of the message endpoint types we have available to us in Spring Integration. You'll learn more about those service activators a little bit later on in our tutorial series. As part of this lab as well, you're going to start to explore annotations as a substitute or augmentation of configuration options with regard to Spring Integration. Spring, Spring Integration, and almost all of Java is moving towards the use of annotations to help provide for maybe some more simplifications in the configuration of our objects, our beans, and our components. Best of luck in lab number four, and please join us as we continue to look at Spring Integration and Spring Integration componentry as we go further into our tutorial series.